In offering an interpretation of Caravaggio's painting, I'm going to start with analysis, pointing out some of the details in this painting that I find especially relevant. If we were art historians, we might focus on different details, but I'm not, and most of you probably aren't either. When I look at this painting, three things really stand out to me. First, I see what appears to be a look of curiosity on the faces of these three men who are staring intently at Jesus' wounded side. Second, I notice that far from backing away from them, Jesus actually pulls his robe aside so that they can see the wound in his side. Third, I notice that this hand, which I take to be that of Jesus, is guiding Thomas's hand to the wound. All of that is analysis, a careful accounting for some of the details of this painting. A more thorough analysis might account for more details, but this is intended to be a brief introduction. So now, why do these things matter? Let's move to interpretation. If you know anything about Thomas, you know that he has been criticized for doubt. He's the one who had to see and touch Jesus' wounds before he would believe that Jesus had been resurrected. If I look at my analysis, it leads me to a claim about the painting. Caravaggio's painting illustrates that doubt, far from being a problem, is something that Jesus welcomes. You should note a couple of things about that interpretation. First, it's one that you could disagree with. Second, it can be supported by evidence from the painting. That's the analysis that we did earlier. Third, it is about the painting. If I were simply to say, far from being a problem, doubt is something that Jesus welcomes, that would still be a claim. But it would be a claim about religion, not about this text that we are studying. Now you get to try it. I'll ask you next to apply what you've just learned about analysis and interpretation to the light of the world.